Now, throughout the whole controversy surrounding the casting of Ariel, and I guess the whole wokeness and exclusivity of things now, this is my opinion of 2023's The Little Mermaid. I liked it. Now, I already have my thoughts about the casting. And you can check out that video if you want to hear my full thoughts in full detail about it. Because I'm not really going to get into it again on this review. But yeah, I will say, me liking it doesn't all have to do with the nostalgia of it. And it is very very nostalgic because I just simply liked it for what it was because first off I love the performance of Halle Bailey I thought she executed her role very well she nailed the innocence of the character spot on and her voice just simply incredible just amazing hell when I saw this the guy sitting behind me was so taken by her voice that when she was wrapping up the song part of your world he was like god damn which told me that vocally she was a great pick but if you were a fan of hers beforehand you probably already knew it so the photorealism in these hybrid films really work against it rather than for it as one of the things that made the original cartoon version work really well was the facial expressions of the animals and their cartoonish actions because the realistic looking animals aren't as expressive and can't be that expressive to really sell what needs to be sold and it really doesn't matter how animated the voice actor is and just like you would think it follows the original beat by beat with just a few changes to the story but i did not expect it to differ majorly or nor did it need to now as far as the cg this was no avatar 2 and all of the visual effects and never was it going to be but i can't say that the surface water looks remarkable and i did enjoy the songs more than others or at least i didn't mind the ones that people just flat out hated and i really did like mccarthy as ursula now i like me personally i thought she was a good choice which brings us to the climax it did not look good at all it visually looked like it was ripped straight out of a video game now as a studio if you were going to make a change to something rather than changing a small part to a song that may or may not be offensive you should have put that time and energy in changing this final battle because it wasn't just bad it was laughably bad but despite all of that I really liked it. It wasn't the greatest, but I found it to be worth my time and watching it, especially seeing it in theaters, on the big screen, in IMAX. So, I mean, it is what it is. And so with that said, that wraps up my review for 2023's The Little Mermaid. And if you like what you've heard, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe if you're not, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this. And I will catch you guys on the next one. So peace out, stay safe, and um... Maybe they need to stop doing these type of movies and just, I don't know, maybe get a little bit more expressive and cartoonish with the, uh, with the animals.